Hey friends, Jen here. Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I thought I would share with you five days of dinners. Now, I actually record myself cooking dinner all the time and I never post the videos because I just don't like the way that real food looks when it's cooked. You know, it's not like commercials where it's waxed food that looks like beautiful and perfect and appetizing. It's real food and real food doesn't always look super appetizing. Um, anyway, that's how I feel whenever I go to edit them. However, my one-year-old pulled the memory card out of my computer again and my whole day in the life that I filmed today was lost. So I am going to have to dig deep <laughs> and pull a video together, which is what I'm doing right now. So I made two meals today, which I'll share with you towards the end of the video. And I've got a few meals from last week that I had pre-recorded. So without further ado, welcome to five days of dinners and please, please don't judge me. All right guys, as always, I'm gonna start off with some hand washing and then today we are making ranch style chicken. I got this recipe from Tiffany Beeston's channel and it is one of our go-tos. It's super simple and the kids really like it. added a ranch seasoning packet, some pepper, and a bouillon cube, and we are gonna cook this on high for six hours. out running errands and my husband had to finish this meal he was not able to find green beans but he did find peas which he used and while I don't like peas and he doesn't like peas our children actually eat them really well so it was no problem to substitute peas for green beans in this recipe Now my husband is gonna start the rice and we're about 45 minutes away from this meal being done. Now I am plating the meals. I'm shredding the chicken and then I divided one chicken breast between the three kids and one chicken breast between my husband and myself. And it's more than enough food. It shreds into a lot more than it looks like. And then we're just gonna add some rice and some peas and of course ranch over the top for the kiddos. And this meal is just about done. All right guys, so yesterday we did the ranch style chicken. I did four large chicken breasts and we actually only ate two. So I'm gonna use the other two today to make lemon chicken couscous. Starting off with the two leftover chicken breasts from yesterday, I'm going to add four heaping tablespoons of capers, which I absolutely love, and we are going to put this on low for eight hours, but really it's just going to like cook for about six hours before we start making the rest of the meal. Now I'm going to start boiling the water for the couscous. add bouillon to the water for the couscous to give it a little bit more flavor then when the water comes to a boil I'm gonna add in the couscous let it simmer for about a minute and then add some seasonings and then pull it off the heat and cover it for five
love the couscous before you serve it and I do love ours but I leave the kids kind of stuck together and solid like that because they make less of a mess with it so just a quick tip if you're feeding couscous to babies. And I know this meal looks very similar to the one we ate yesterday, but I promise with the capers and the couscous, it tastes not the same at all. Alright guys, today we are making taco salad. So I'm going to start off with a fresh chicken breast. I'm going to add about an eighth of an onion and then a jar of green uh, tomatillo salsa, salsa verde salsa. Usually we use a, like a can of green enchilada sauce. You know, any of it works. Take a quick minute to shred this and then we're going to add the beans. I'm going to keep cooking this on low for maybe another hour or so just until it's time to eat. So this is a super easy recipe that everyone likes. I'm serving it with avocado, cheese, sour cream, and then just some garlic, salt, and pepper. And all the kids eat this surprisingly well, except for my three-year-old who wants it all like on the side. All right guys, day four and five. Today I am making a veggie pasta to serve tonight. We eat this about once a week. It's kind of our go-to vegetarian meal. And you know, everyone likes it. We don't always use the same vegetables. We just use what we have on hand. But broccoli is kind of everyone's favorite here.
While the onions and garlic salt are sauteing, I'm gonna go ahead and start roasting the broccoli. I usually do um, like an oil spray over the top, but I ran out, so I'm just roasting them without anything, and it worked surprisingly well. I told you guys that I don't like to be in the kitchen cooking all day. While I have to wait on the broccoli to roast and the onions to saute, I'm gonna go ahead and skip to the other counter and pre-make dinner for tomorrow. So I am making a chicken pot pie. I love this recipe because it's just so forgiving and you can kind of use whatever you have left in your fridge. And I have some leftover chicken strips because we got chicken from Publix yesterday. I'm actually just cutting up the chicken strips from yesterday. Now for those of you who are saying, oh my word, I hate leftovers, this looks gross to me, I am telling you that if you repurpose leftovers right, no one will know that they're leftovers. to do just the base out of the pie crust and then I do a corn flake topping later. It's just an easy way to make two, one for now, one for later and save me some work at a later time. Here are two chicken pot pies. I'm gonna put one in the freezer to cook tomorrow, and I will, I'm sorry, one in the fridge to cook tomorrow, and I'll put one in the freezer for at some point over the next week when we're in the middle of all the Christmas busyness and I need a quick meal. I used the flour and butter to make a roux for this light sauce and now I'm going to go ahead and add in the pasta and of course some capers because they're my favorite thing in the world. And yeah, that's about it for this meal. We're going to throw the broccoli in there and top it with some Parmesan cheese 
and it's a crowd pleaser every time. Obviously, it's choose your own adventure. You can add whatever veggies your family likes, but it's a really great way to throw a weekly vegetarian night in. That is it for this video guys. Subscribe, like, leave a comment, all that good stuff. And do let me know if you enjoy videos like this so I know if I should make more of them. Anyway, again, thank you guys and I will catch you next time. Bye.